Hello and welcome to Talk to Your Health. I'm your host, Dr. Derek De Silva. For anyone who has witnessed the effects of Parkinson's disease, it's easy to see how tremors can affect a patient's daily life and make the most mundane of tasks difficult, if not impossible. A treatment called deep brain stimulation is helping those with tremors lead more normal lives. One local neurosurgeon is taking this treatment a step further. Dr. Peter Zajos is a neurosurgeon affiliated with Riverview Medical Center in Red Bank and was the first in the area to use deep brain stimulation with what's called frameless technology. Welcome to the program. Thank you. But thank, thank you very much for having me. Pleasure, pleasure. Parkinson's disease. You know, we, we, we've heard about it. We've seen it. Um, what is it? So it is a uh, degenerative disorder of the brain uh, that causes patients to have a number of symptoms. They can become very stiff in their walking. They can have difficulty with balance. They can have tremor. Uh, these symptoms all add up to a very, very difficult quality of life. And over the course of time, they take medications for the, the condition. And the medications themselves can also cause trouble. So it's a double, it's a double barreled issue. And, and I think when we look at Parkinson's, we first have to look at tremors, because there are lots of reasons for tremors, not only Parkinson's disease, correct? That, that's right. So Parkinson's disease can have tremors associated with it, sometimes not. There's also a condition called essential tremor, which is tremor uh, in and of itself, independent of drugs or other, other inciting causes. So that is also another movement or degenerative disorder. And these are two of the conditions that can be treated with deep brain stimulation. Now, the traditional treatments are typically prescription medications, as you right. said. That's right. Uh, can we just Phys talk about them? Physical therapy. Sometimes patients will get Botox injections for, uh, for spasms of the eyelids. So there are a number of treatments that can be employed before considering deep brain stimulation. So deep brain stimulation, uh, what is it? What are the origins? Tell me about it. Sure. So it's been done for over 15 years now, and 100,000 patients worldwide have had these implants. And it's a, there's no getting around it. It's essentially drilling a hole or, a hole or, two, or two holes into the skull, passing an electrode, down to a very specific part of the brain and then being able to stimulate that part of the brain to alter the effects, to reduce the symptoms. Can you just tell us what's going on here? I mean, you literally have to drill a hole in the that's person's right. brain? That's right. That's uh, right. You know, that's, uh, that's a, a big part of the conversation and a big reason why, you know, patients are often uh, very anxious about the procedure, so we mm -hmm. have to take them through every step. I mean, that looks like a pacemaker, by the way. That's right. So what, what, uh, what, what this describes is that once the electrode is placed, it is then connected through wires under the skin uh, to a pacemaker-like battery. That battery is also used to actually conduct the current and to program the current because you can uh, alter the stimulation, uh, the parameters and the voltages to customize it for a patient's uh, condition. Does this go into a particular area of the brain that controls tremors? Yes, it does. Um, so in the, in the event of Parkinson's or essential tremor, these are two separate targets. They're close to each other. They're only a few millimeters uh, you know, in, in uh, length mm -hmm. or, or, or diameter. So these are very, very you know, precise uh, measures that we take to get mm -hmm. there. But they are different targets. Now, we also have some, some devices here. Could you just tell me a little bit about what we're looking at here? Sure. So this is... Uh, and what is frameless technology, So by this the is way? an evolution uh, beyond kind of our standard way of getting uh, to a target in the brain. If you've ever seen a halo frame or a large metal frame with four screws that mm -hmm. attaches into the brain, mm -hmm. into, the, into the skull, um, you know, it's quite forbidden. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, certainly not something patients look forward to. They're then clamped to the table and fixed in position. It's a very difficult process and it's a very long day. This, these frames are actually customized right. to, the, uh, uh, to the patient. Mm -hmm. So they are, they are uh, built so that the, uh, the, it fits the contour of the patient personally. For what reason? Uh, so it allows, allows us to be able to, number one, get to the target efficiently. So it's a way to build, it's another where, way where to target Where you need to brain. put that electrode. That's right, that's okay. the main goal of it. The, the be other benefits are is mm -hmm. that uh, I'm able to do this prior to the day of placing the electrode, so it reduces the OR time and it makes the, it's much more comfortable. The patient can move there. What move about what about long term on this? Is, is does this is there tolerance? You know, do we have to change the current? What, what's that's the a real it's a really good question. In fact, one of the first patients I ever uh, did surgery on was perhaps the 50th 
patient in the world to have it for central tremor. And he had tremor on one side of his body, so had the electrode placed uh, mm -hmm. in, on the corresponding side of his brain. Mm -hmm. Ten years later, he was starting to get tremor on the other side. He was still having good benefit right. uh, with the original uh, electrode, but then needed it for the other side. So, and, do, but yeah. do you, d does the, do the tremors overwhelm the, the, uh, the, the technology? Uh, no, in fact, the tremors are probably the most responsive to, to the technology. Really? It's the symptom that really, of, of, of all of them, responds the quickest uh, and often over the long term. But you really do have very long-term benefits. So Great. patients will have this for years and years. Great information. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. Keep it right here.